hey everyone welcome to another video on my channel today i am kicking off the valentine's nails 2022 with this beautiful gucci inspired valentine set so let's get into it Today I am using my silicone hand for the first time on this platform. I got this hand about three years ago and I purchased it from Red Iguana, I believe it was. I'm not quite sure if she's still active, but I will check it out and leave a link in the description bar. So I'm starting off by going in with a coat of a sheer nude on the pinky finger as well as the index finger and the two middle fingers I'm using a, a dusty pink sort of shade and I'm just gonna apply two coats of each of these colors and I'm gonna cure them for the full 60 seconds under my LED lamp I want to take this time to remind you to always apply your gel polish in thin and even coats so that it cures all the way through under your LED lamp and so that you don't get any bubbling or wrinkling of the gel. That is usually caused by applying your gel polish too thick and so the light is not able to penetrate the layers of gel giving it a hard solid cure all the way through. I'll be using these vinyl decals to form a French on my index finger as well as my pinky finger and what I did was I folded the decal in half and I am using my scissors to cut out the smile line and then I peel away the protective layer from the decal and place it in water to separate it from the backing once it has separated I pull the decal out of the water and I begin to position it in place on my nail and the thing about these decals is that you need to get rid of the excess water that's on the nail in order for it to begin to stretch and adhere to the nail so i use my brush and i pat away the excess water on the nail under the decal and i keep tapping the brush off on my napkin until most or all of that water has been um, reduced then what I do is I go ahead and I use my brush or you can also use a silicone tool it actually works much better than a brush to push that vinyl sticker into place and, and into the nail and stretch it according to how you want it positioned. I then go in with some acetone on my brush to melt away any excess overhang of the decal. The inspo for this set came from this silk and wool floral sweater as well as that pink sweater with the Gucci snake wrapped around the neck and the embossed pink Gucci sandals. So I'm going to be using some interesting techniques to achieve the outcome and I found that I had already have some floral decals which kind of look similar in my collection so I didn't have to go out and purchase those. Using the excess I went ahead and I cut sort of a half moon shape and I am applying that on the middle finger and I'm using my brush to tuck the edges of that vinyl decal around the cuticle area and then of course I'm gonna go in with the acetone to melt away any excess around the cuticle area. I'm then gonna seal the decal in by using my no wipe top coat which actually protects the decals during the course of wear when I use these decals on my clients. 
and then I'm just gonna finish it off by applying my velvet matte top coat and of course cure for 60 seconds under my LED lamp And here comes the most creative part. I really enjoyed this next step. I'm using my Build It, which is basically a builder gel. You can use any gel that's thick in viscosity and I'm using my number two detail brush to begin sculpting out the shape of the snake. Now, once I reach the side wall area, I'm trying to tuck as much of that gel into the side wall without touching it to make the snake will look as though it's wrapping around or under the nail and coming back around on the other side. So I'm just using the tip of my brush to pull the gel into the direction of the shape that I want and once I am satisfied I'm going to cure this under my LED lamp for 60 seconds. If along the way you make any boo-boos with the gel and you find that in some areas it's too wide, I highly suggest that you take a little time to clean and thin out those areas with some acetone or some alcohol before curing under your lamp. What I'm going to do once I'm finished with the first layer is come back in with a second layer to add some height to the snake so that when I go in to paint it, it really looks three-dimensional. For the first step in painting the snake, I'm going to make sure that I have that iconic Gucci red as well as black, white and a grey on my palette and I'm going to begin painting the entire snake with the exception of the head and tail in that first layer of red, making sure not to let the red roll over onto the pink. You would want to clean that up before you cure it because Leaving the red seeping out onto the pink makes the snake look as though you stuck it onto the nail. And when you take the time to clean up those little areas at the edge or around the, the curve of the snake, it really makes it look as though it's crawling on the nail. Now we're going to paint the tip of the tail in white and I'm going to start creating some white thick strips along the body of the snake and you want to try to let your spaces be um, proportional so I would leave a gap of red um, in between each strip of white to ensure that the snake looks somewhat symmetrical in design when you are finished. And to finish up with the white, I'm just going to paint the head and then of course we're going to cure this under our LED lamp. Don't forget to clean up where necessary before curing. Once the white has cured, I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of grey to the utmost tip of the tail as well as the head. And then I'm going to mix my red with a bit of black to darken the red and I'm going to use that to 
um, create some shadow around the sides of the snake closest to where it's touching the pink gel polish mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna add this all the way up the snake and then I will come back in with the red while the darker red is still wet and I drop that in on top of the middle of that area and blend the two strips of darker red together this is going to give the snake some natural contour and really bring it to life make it look as though it's it has some natural shadowing um, then we're gonna go in with the black once we have cured that gel polish and begin creating the black strips going all the way up to the top of the snake Try to perfect those lines before curing. You can always come back in with your white after to sharpen up your black lines. Um, but we want to try to get these lines as crisp and as clean as possible. And now I'm going in and I'm creating somewhat of a semi-circle shape on the top of the snake's head. And I'm going to cure that under my LED lamp once I am satisfied. Once the black has cured, I'm going to carefully go in with my no wipe top coat and I am going to go over the entire snake with this and then I'm going to cure this to set that clear top coat in and to give the snake that extra shine against the contrast of a matte layer. Now I've added the darker shade of Gucci Green to my palette and I'm going to create a using my striper brush along a third of the ring finger and I'm just going to try to make sure that I get this as straight as possible but using a striper brush for stripes like this usually helps and I'm just going to do like a double layer side by side to thicken up the stripe because using a striper brush this size usually would give you a thin stripe so by doubling up or uh, side to side with the gel polish would give you a thicker stripe and then I'm gonna cure it and I'm gonna do the same thing with the Gucci red and I am just trying not to let it overlap too much to create any shadows in between the shades and then once the red is complete I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that third of the nail with the balance of the green gel polish I'm gonna apply my velvet matte top coat to seal off these stripes and also prepare me for the final step of this nail which is the Gucci font and what I did once the matte was cured was I went in with a bit of that pink gel polish mixed with a little bit of the Velvet, which is the thick of viscosity gel to help me thicken up the gel so that my font is a bit raised and I'm just carefully using my super fine micro detail number one brush to um, basically paint out the letters and once that is completed and I'm satisfied with how the embossed effect turned out I am going to pour some of my speed clear acrylic powder over the uncured gel which I am then gonna set by curing under my LED lamp for 60 seconds And here we have the finished set. This is my Gucci for Valentine's Day. I really hope you've enjoyed watching me create the set. I used the technique of that three-dimensional snake in a set I did previously on a customer of mine. I'm going to insert a clip for you to see right now. Um, so 
these are just some ways that you can use the same techniques and basically play with the design so until next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed give this video a big thumbs up and sound off in the comment section below letting me know what you thought of this video and i hope you've learned something new until next time be safe guys bye